Welcome back to episode 37. I'm Arumba. Thanks for tuning in. I have been thinking and strategizing about this predicament that we have, and I think I've come up with a clever solution. This is going to be an abuse of in-game mechanics. Not necessarily an abuse, really, but... So you remember this, uh, this little duke that we have here, the Duke of Iceland, who still doesn't have enough money to ransom himself and get out? I was thinking, I wonder what happens. Let's send him a gift. You don't have 145 gold? Well, what if I just give you some? I'm going to send him some money twice. Now he has 165. Now we're going to ransom him. So we don't get the full amount, but he likes us a whole lot more, and we can get rid of him. That little boost of gold, I think, might just give me enough money to hire another of these big, huge bands, these 7,000 men, and then we'll have enough to crush this. The issue we're running into here is that it's it's the entire army of Hungary and Denmark. So there's 9,000 men from Hungary and 5,000 men from Denmark. Our other option, and I do want to explore this, is that, um, you know, let's check the alliances. How is it, or why is it, that Denmark was able to, to call the uh, army of Hungary involved. So it's Ub's father-in-law. Ub's, King Ub's father-in-law. He is the father-in-law of Ub's. So that means that you must be the daughter of the King of Hungary. So if you die, your alliance dies with it. Let's see if we can murder her and get Hungary to disappear before I hire another band of army. For some reason, a lot of people are wanting her dead. I'm, I'm glad to see that. It's not common. They must not like her for some reason. If we really wanted to, we could, we could probably comb through the court and try to figure out why they don't like her, but I don't really want to do that. I just want her dead. Just, just die, okay? Just go away. Leave us alone. Get out of here. All right. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to continue playing um, <laughs> whatever you whatever you'd call this. Uh, whack a mole. <laughs> it's basically what it is. I mean, he he sieges it. I resiege it. Here's our 145 gold back. So yeah, that did work. How much plot power did we actually rally? Not very much yet. And I can basically keep about two of them clear. Almost three of them. I cannot get all four of them at the same time. Just barely can't do it. Maybe there on the seventh. One, two, three. That gives me four days. I think it takes five days to land. We'll arrive in the Baltic Sea. No. Nope. Yeah, one, two, three. He'll be there tomorrow. We'll be there. I'm cutting it as close as I can so I can try to catch up to him and just maybe get all four at once. 22nd. Yep, we can safely go here now. He's going to take those two, but we're, we are catching up to him. Ooh, this is interesting. He's going to Smallland. What are you thinking? Oh, I know. Interesting. He doesn't want to engage me. That is a very interesting thing. Okay, why is that? There is a river between here and Skane, so he doesn't want to cross the river into the plains. So the AI thinks that this is a bad engagement. His 15,000 men versus my 11, he thinks that that's a bad idea. That's a good sign. I did also notice that we could call some people in. The only person that's willing to accept is the king of Russia. He, he'd be glad to help us. He has a massive army of 111 people. <laughs> it's kind of comical that he's willing to, yeah, oh yeah, let's do it, let's do it, we can win. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> Actually, I think before hiring mercenaries, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably wait 
and try to get this plot. We've got 120%. It shouldn't take too long, I think, to break that alliance. Yep, he was just trying to get across. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take it. I, I mean, I need the gold right now, but it's just it's too good to pass up. Unfortunately, because we are defensive, in order to get that ticking war score, we do need every holding. And we're just not even close to being able to get them all at once. Castle infrastructure is increasing somewhere. Russia's lost his war, finally, so we can actually get the diligent trait the next time winter rolls around and we're not at war. Continues to improve relations with the Kaiser. Kaiser actually thinks we're amazing now. He's improved relations three times. Good job. Do you want to join our war? <laughs> not going to happen. We're not allied, allied to him. Hey, maybe we can get rid of one of our useless daughters. There we go. Brilliance. Let's find a way to do it. Do you have anyone in your family that would like to marry somebody? How about this guy? He's not married. Arrange marriage. Your little dude with my little daughter. You can have this one. Damn. Not willing to accept. How about that one? How about that one? How about that one? Damn it. Nah. Any of you others that you'll do? He's worried about that minus 500 prestige. I guess I can't blame him. Here, your, your daughter's not married. Can we marry him into our family? Her into our family? No, we don't have any sons available. That's right, one of them died to consumption. Would you accept a betrothal? No. And it cost us 666 gold. Okay, fine. It's not going to happen. Alright, what if we improved relations with Norway? Maybe we can get Norway to come help us. Whoa! So because I just put my counselor there, I can actually see within around that zone, and there's 15,000, 14,000 men from the Holy Roman Emperor here. What are you doing? Defending against the Kaiser in the Holy Roman claim on Norway. Holy shit! He's attacking Norway right now. He's being such a freaking jerk. Okay, what are we doing here? I gotta stay focused on this until that freaking person dies. Now, a straight crossing is definitely worse than a river crossing. Not by much, but it is. So I wonder... Somebody wants to kill my son. How about you just go to prison then? No, I can't risk that. I'm just going to ask an end plot. It's only 50% chance to imprison him and I, I can't handle a home war right now. So I'm wondering, if I put my army here He's dealing with a river crossing penalty, and we're fighting, up, fighting on flat ground. He didn't want to engage my army before, so if he really thinks that this army's stronger, he might just sit there, which he is. Interesting. Oh, God. All right. Okay, fine. I'll find you someone nice. I'll actually, I'll actually do it. All right. How many of these damn kids do we have to get rid of? Poland. Do you have anyone you want to marry off? No. Denmark won't agree with us anything right now because we are currently at war. This kid's too young. Sweden. Sweden. This guy died of the Great Pox. He's only eight. Ooh. 
Hmm. Let's see. Would you accept a betrothal? Probably not. Didn't think so. I uh, just don't want to deal with it. I hate these kids. Okay. Hey, that's interesting. Hey. <laughs> yes, strategy. This is like a game of chess. So, I planted my army here, and so he didn't want to engage it because he's afraid of the the river, the straight crossing and the plains penalty. So, it's two armies, right? It's the it's the army of Hungary and Denmark. So they're stuck there. Well, Denmark has ships, so they're leaving. And they're leaving Hungary behind. So what I can do is I'm going to wait. Hungary's probably going to go and like, land here and try to capture that other part. Yep, land your men. As soon as he lands his men, I'm going to hop on the boats and go kill him. Piecemeal. Ah, are you sure you want to do that? This is plains and you're crossing a river, young man. I'm going to school you in the art of war. Go ahead. And she's made the queen like us. Let's see, will the queen join us? He'll join us. No. Okay, so there's that river crossing penalty. It's not quite as good as the straight crossing. But still, you can see almost every single, every unit takes a penalty. And we've got this planes advantage with our guy from the great company. So he's giving 31% increased martial stuff. Even number of troops. I hope we win. We are considered to be the defenders in this engagement, so we want the bottom to win. Middle is getting their ass kicked. Damn it. Come on. You can do it. We beat that flank. We beat that flank. Yes, gang up. Gang up. Yes, yes. Yes! <laughs> we win! Oh, God. I, I hate how much stress that causes. Alright, good. Alright, let's get rid of these ships. We don't need them anymore. So we don't need to stay in the water. We're just going to track, just hunt these guys around now, destroy the army, recapture these, force them to surrender, and we win! And we've killed some guy named Yudki. And it's, it really is this the great company that's winning these fights for us. He's amazing. Okay. Well, I, can, I think this war is going to wrap up pretty quick. I'm actually going to end the video here. And uh, we'll record some more soon. Thanks for watching.